most of us are familiar with teacher-centered learning, which is what the physical school building is designed to do, which is teacher-centered learning is where basically teacher, the teacher controls the action, if you will, and decides what a student learns and when they learn that. But learning is not something that you can control. Learning is very spontaneous. Learning happens at a very individual level. And so student-centered learning is kind of going with the floor as opposed to going against the floor. So you're basically saying, look, all children are different. They learn differently. They have different interests. They have different passions. So rather than force them all to learn the same thing at the same time in the same way, let us actually tailor and customize learning so that all the children will, will learn. But they may not all learn the same thing, and that's okay. The traditional school building, uh, if you think about the way it was designed, was actually a perfect uh, model for teacher-centered learning, which is to say that one adult controls what happens with a group of students. And so when teachers and principals and school leaders have this great idea to, hey, let's move to a 21st century student-centered model, they don't realize that the reason they may not be able to go to that model, at least not effectively, is because the school building physically prevents them from doing that. There are many ways in which traditional schools block student-centered learning. Research, for example, which is very important these days. Student presentations, very important for students to be able to present their work. Um, uh, Project-based learning. Um, collaboration, which, I mean, every job probably that these kids are going to have requires a lot of collaboration. A peer tutoring. Um, older kids mentoring younger kids, uh, teachers working in teams to create interdisciplinary courses. Um, think about all the things that I just described and think about how hard those would be to do when one teacher is trapped in a room with 30 kids. So a student-centered model would physically have to look very, very different to allow these things to happen. And everything that I described, I don't think any educator would say, no, those are not things we want to have. Basically, the physical model of school is actually preventing the delivery of a true student-centered uh, education.